What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to, because then I started making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Bravado Buffalo, the regular one. This car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from a Seven San Andreas website for $35,000 or of course you can get off the street for free. Now the Buffalo name was first introduced in GTA San Andreas and was also featured in episodes from Liberty City as well, which is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, the Buffalo is in the sports class and is one of the slower vehicles in that class around 80th place, not surprising. I honestly feel this car should have been in the sedans class or even the muscle car class where I think it would have been a bit more competitive even though it probably is a bit too fast for the muscle car class seeing as it would have a better lap time than the uh, regular Dominator but it's still a quick car regardless when you compare it to other cars in other classes. But anyways, in terms of what the Buffalo is based on, it's primarily based on the 6th generation Dodge Charger, and this is the car that revived the Charger nameplate after being dead for almost 20 years, but also shocked many enthusiasts because it returned as a 4-door instead of the traditional 2-door design. And Dodge has kept the 4-doors as part of their design for about 17 years, but as shown by the recent Dodge Charger concept, it seems to be making a return as a two-door, which I think is fantastic, but in an EV form, which is unfortunate in my opinion, but that's the future of the automotive industry. It is what it is. Just enjoy all of our gas-powered cars while we can. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Buffalo. All right, OG Buffalo, let's do it. Okay, we got armor, brakes, bumpers, custom front splitter. So the stock one has like a plastic trim there you can sort of see. This one removes that trim and then it makes the edges a bit smoother and it has like these vents out front but it moves them to the outer sections. Okay, I guess it looks a little bit cleaner, why not? Rear bumpers, so it makes the, def it brings the, that is so weird, it extends the diffuser and then it puts a that's so weird it like <laughs> puts a section under it under the fins that's so strange and it has these fake vents on the side that no and it's like w wider too Do you need a drink? Eh, I don't Bubble? like that <laughs> I don't like that engine exhaust so it's like a no oh, it's just a titanium version of a stock exhaust Eh, I don't like the way that looks on a charger. Uh, lights, some xenons, why not? Plates, do a black background. Um, I mean, we could pretend it's a charger Daytona, but eh, I don't, I don't think that that works too well. So, especially since we don't have the side stripe, right? You know, a stripe that goes on the uh, quarter panel there. But um, I'll just put my uh, my Merc a plate on it because I don't really have a, a good one for this. This car, I mean, imagine there could be some good liveries for this thing if Rockstar wanted to, like a a Super B style livery, um, Daytona style livery. They could do some interesting stuff with this. But um, anyways, I mean, I, I doubt it. This car is probably never gonna get touched again ever since the Buffalo STX came out. But it's kind of crazy how we have so many. We literally have every variant of the Charger, <laughs> of, of the four door Charger. That is, we have every single variant in game. Kind of crazy. This one, the Buffalo S, and the Buffalo. STX. Okay, um, respray. Uh, I will leave this for the end because um, the color I'm gonna paint it in uh, it's gonna hide some of the uh, other uh, visual upgrades I want to show. So I'll leave that for the end. Side skirts. So it like flattens the uh, side skirt a bit, and then it adds the fake. What, what's what? What's with the fake vents? It's, it's like a similar fake vent to the bumper option in the rear. I don't like that. <laughs> it looks like something from this one of those cheap eBay kits. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, spoiler upgrade. Tiny little spoiler. Yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. But I wish they would have given us a spoiler kind of similar to like the Daytona and the uh, SRT8 
kind of goes all the way to the edge. That would have been a lot nicer, but um, I guess we'll do this. Plus, we get the traction benefits, so at least we got something. Suspension, yeah, definitely lower it all the way. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Um, so for this one, I do want to sort of put a wheel on here like the original uh, Chargers, a nice five-spoke wheel uh, from this gen. I don't want to put anything with too many spokes or something that looks way too modern because this car, I mean, it came out in 06, so, so it's not really that new. Um, so I'm going to go here to the track category, and we're going to put the split starts. I think these wheels look really, really good on this car. Um, I think they fit the design pretty well. Now, it is a twin five-spoke, so not you know a, a normal five-spoke wheel, but I think it looks fantastic on this thing. Um, wheel color. So before we do that, let's do the respray we were going to do earlier. Um, so for this, I mean, this car looks great in a lot of colors, especially like orange or like a candy red or what have you. But to me, this generation of Charger, I think it looks so, so good in black because the front end is super aggressive with the hood lines. And I think this thing in black just looks fantastic. So um, crew black, look at that. Oh my gosh looks fantastic so so nice um, but you know, if we did have liveries I would paint it in a different color but I don't know I feel like without some type of black accent on this car I feel like it's just too much color like if let's say you want to do like the super B build in yellow uh, this color for example it's just too much yellow there's no like no accents it's just way too much yellow to me so yeah black it is um, Criblum for this car goes on the hood, okay? So we were at wheel color. Uh, so for this, I mean, I could do black, but I think it's just too dark. Um, and I think a nice dark gray will look great on here. The stone silver looks pretty good, but I think I want it to be a little darker. So we'll do the black steel. I think that looks fantastic on there. Um, windows, black amounts, and look at that. Especially this view right here, look at that angle. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> absolutely love it very very aggressive looking car the only thing I think it's missing I mean it's an OG car honestly I didn't think it would have any visual customization at all but it has surprisingly some options oh and before I forget uh, this car actually back I think it was about six years ago Rockstar did patch this I tested it I researched it the only way you can currently get this glitch I'm gonna tell you about to currently work is if you do like merges and all that stuff that people do but then you can never take it into a custom shop again because then the options reappear it's very very weird and finicky because rockstar did patch it but anyways the way it goes is uh, basically the body kit that's for some of this car because stock it comes with a body kit pretty much it's not like a normal looking charger like the fib buffalo for example um it, it comes stock with a front splitter well an aggressive front uh, bumper that's lower, side skirts and all that. So, if you can see here, the side skirt kind of like disappears and wait, oh, you have to buy it first, I think. Yeah, there you go. You can see the side skirt disappear for like a split second. And there used to be a glitch to where you can actually save that, but Rockstar patched it, unfortunately. Um, and please do research before you comment that it still works I'm telling you it's patched I looked all over the place in forums and all that it, it is indeed unfortunately patched uh, but there was a glitch where you can remove the side skirt and then you can do the same glitch to remove Whatever the front bumper that. and rear Technology. bumper and you had like a pretty similar well, let me rephrase not the entire bumper just the front splitter <laughs> the side skirt and then the uh, rear diffuser trim so it made it look literally like an FIB Buffalo pretty much the only ugly part of it is this exhaust sticks out further because of that bumper kit it has. So when you remove that section that it brings it lower, um, the exhaust stick out really far. It's really weird on this car, but anyways, patched unless you do crazy merge glitches the same way people use the glitches to merge the Benny's wheels. It has to be done with one of those types of glitches to get uh, the car with those options removed. So. Just wanted to point that out, but again, let's um, take it for a drive. Even with this body kit, it still looks pretty good. I don't mind. Look at that. Yeah, I think these wheels look really good on this car. I think it's a nice touch. 
Plus it's got a little bit of chrome on the lip there and it kind of matches our grill, so yeah, not bad. First person, so same interior from the uh, Buffalo S and cop cars and stuff like that, so not bad, not bad. Some revs. Sounds, doesn't really sound, uh, doesn't sound like it has a Hemi, that's for sure. So, <laughs> yeah, doesn't sound all that great. It is what it is. All right, floor it here. The Buffalo S obviously sounds a lot better. Yeah, I mean, they kind of copied and pasted like a generic sedan exhaust note. But this car is very, very quick. So it is in a sports class, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and there's a reason for that. It's a lot faster than most sedans and um, even a lot of muscle cars, too. This, this thing is a very, very quick. And fun fact, it actually gets a better lap time around most tracks than a uh, regular Dominator, which that used to be the king for a while, so that's probably why Rockstar didn't put this in the muscle car class. So in terms of the handling, um, it's pretty grippy, handles pretty decent, however, however, just like most other sedans in the game, um, it does have snap over steer on bumpy turns if you're not careful, so you have to really gently put it into the corner like that. And if you don't, let me show you what happens. Well, it spins out, but let me <laughs> let me show that. If I force it here, that oh I lost traction there, but that was a terrible quarter. We'll do it again. That's what happens. And if I do it on a more flat road, so you can see here, let me just pick up some speed. Oh, this is the perfect turn right here. Wow, it actually hooked up pretty good there, I'm surprised. Take this corner now. Let's force it on purpose. Okay, now it's just giving me a ton of understeer. That's weird. <laughs> Come on. There you go. Okay, now it's wanting to be really grippy for some reason. I, I, I've driven this thing quite a bit in the past, and I remember it being a lot looser. I just, I don't know. I guess maybe that was before the traction benefit with the spoiler upgrade. Huh. Yeah, because when, when the game first came out, the spoilers didn't add traction, the extra traction benefit. Rockstar added that in, a, in an update, so I guess it does handle better than I remember. Interesting. Well, there it spun out a little bit, but not bad. This car, never mind. It actually handles a lot better than I thought. Wow. Okay, then. I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The headlights of this thing look fantastic. Um, it's a good looking car. I like it. What I think would be cool for those of you who own the Buffalo S, the Buffalo STX, it'd be cool to park like these three side by side in a garage. That is awesome. Like all the four door gens together. This one, the Buffalo S and then the Buffalo STX. Um, maybe all in the same color, different colors, whatever. But I think all of them together in a garage would look absolutely sick. I'm probably going to do that later on. I just need a bit more garage space because Rockstar... You know, they give us extra spots here and there uh, from for DLCs, but it's still not enough. Because we keep getting so many cars, especially with all the drip feed cars as of recent. Um, I just wish we had a little more space. But anyways, let's go here, doors all. Engine model in line four. That's uh, unfortunate. Terrible texture quality. Rockstar reuses this engine model in a ton of cars, a ton of them, so not surprising to see that there. Would have liked to have seen a V8 engine model, but it is what it is. We got Bravado on the door sills. Looks fantastic. Love that. Uh, the texture quality of the seats is big yikes, as you can see there, but this is, you know, an OG 2013 car, so it makes sense. At least we have the B pillar here. You can see that. Texture quality is terrible, but the B pillar is there. Trunk. Uh, texture quality is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not terrible. It's pretty bad, but it's not terrible. I've seen much worse. If you've seen some of my other OG customization videos, there's some, there's some cars that it literally looks terrible. This is not that bad, but... Um, yeah. Overall, I mean, for being an OG 2013 car, um, I, I think it's a nice one to own. It has some customization, at least as a spoiler upgrade. I'm happy about that. Um, and 
yeah, not a bad car. I think it's one that's worth owning just to park in the garage next to the other buffaloes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.